Hey friends, Jeff here with MixPractice.com and MissionMusician.com. I got an email today from one of my subscribers, and I'm going to read it to you, to you here in a second. Uh, now, I'm not going to mention his name, uh, but sir, you know who you are. Thank you for sending in this email. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, so this video is called, When Should I Start Charging for Mixing? Let me read the email here really quick, if you don't mind. I recently came across your YouTube channel and thoroughly enjoy your tutorial vids. I purchased the one on mixing a song from start to finish. Like yourself, I started playing guitar when I was 16 and now I'm in my later 40s. I have worked as a guitar instructor for the past 26 years, but in the last few have been very interested in the recording and mixing aspect of music. I was wondering if you initially went to school to study to be an engineer. At this point in my life, I can't see that happening, which is why I absorb as many videos and tutorials as possible. I would like to make a transition to a mix engineer. At this point, I don't think I'm quite ready to start charging people, but in time, as my skills develop, I will. Any advice you can give me along the way is appreciated. Okay, so sir, thank you for that. Uh, email that was very kind and thank you for the support by the way okay so a lot of you probably feel this way you probably you know maybe have started mixing or just getting into it and you can't even think of charging someone for mixing right now right I want you to look at it from a different perspective okay you may think you're not good enough to charge for mixing right now However, I would argue that you're good enough to charge something for mixing, okay? You've paid for your DAW. You probably have some plugins that you paid for. You have an interface that you've paid for. You have studio speakers that you've paid for. Um, you have, if you're like most, you, you probably have hours upon hours invested in watching YouTube tutorial videos on mixing, um, you may have purchased some courses. Um, so this is all valuable things, okay? Um, so you're offering a service to someone who asks you to mix a song because you've paid for the gear that you have. You have spent time uh, watching videos. Um, so... Let me tell you how I kind of got into charging for mixing, all right? So in, in 2009, I started to take mixing very seriously. As a matter of fact, every free moment I had in my life, I spent practicing mixing. I would mix song after song after song. Uh, and then my friends started, friends and other bands started to come to me and ask me to mix songs for them. And I said I absolutely would, but that I was going to charge them. And at this point, I wasn't very good. And I'll be the first to admit it. I was not a very good mixer. Not because I didn't want to be, just because I didn't have the, you know, the knowledge that I have now or the skill set that I had now. I was at an early point in my mixing uh, career or stage or however you want to say it. So you may be thinking, well, why would you charge somebody if, if you aren't very good? Well, I'm, I'm charging people because, quite frankly, I know more about it than they do. I have the gear to do it that they don't have. And I've spent time watching you know, tutorials or I've spent time practicing mixing over and over and over again. I've got a lot of time invested in this craft already even though I'm just at the beginning of it so my friends had no problems paying for me to mix their song because quite frankly I was better than them at it right so you have value even as a beginning a be, excuse me a beginner mixer you have value you've got gear you've got uh, some knowledge, you've had some practice with it, so you do you are valuable to somebody. 
So, and I'm not saying that you go and you charge, you know, somebody three or four or five hundred dollars for a mix. When I when I started doing this for my friends, you know, I would charge maybe fifty or a hundred bucks for a song. Um, I think when I f- the very first one I did was I probably charged like fifty bucks, and they were thrilled to pay it because they didn't have to do it. They didn't have to deal with it. They could just give it to me, and I would mix it to the best of my abilities at that time in my life, and you know they were happy with it. Um, so the point here I'm trying to make is you have value if you have any kind of time invested in this and if you have any kind of gear invested in this. You have value to someone okay, who doesn't know how to mix or doesn't have the gear to mix, and you may not have the ability to produce a you know radio ready mix as many of us like to call it but you may have the the ability to produce a decent mix and you certainly have the ability to produce a better mix than someone who's never mixed before right so you have some skill sets you have some value now as you get better at mixing, you certainly can charge more for mixing, okay? But don't charge nothing. Don't mix for free, um, inle- you know, unless you're doing a favor or something like that. That's totally fine. But if you have someone who is willing to pay you for mixing, then absolutely get paid to mix. Even if it's, I don't care if it's $25 a song, you know? Wherever you're at in your skill, at least set some kind of monetary value for your time that it's going to take to mix the song to the best of your abilities at where you're at. So I hope that makes sense. That's all I've got for today. I've got some cool videos coming up real soon. Um, I've been away for a little bit. I'm not going to go into why. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with the details. But thank you for being a subscriber here on my YouTube channel. If you like these type of videos... Please like and uh, subscribe, uh, and I will see you real soon in another video. Take care, guys. See ya.